2016 WAPT exclusive. One woman claims police tased her in Flowood for no reason. 16 WAPT's Hanas Brown talked with her and police about the roadside standoff caught on cam. 20 year old Diamond Harris claims Flowood police tased her for no reason last Sunday. License and insurance. Can you tell me what I did? And I was like, um, sir, do you mind me asking what I did? When he said I ran a red light. Harris claims she was on her way home from work on Lakeland Drive and says she never ran any lights. You ran a red light? I did not run a red light. She says that's why she started recording the stop on her cell phone. That's, I'm, I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm sorry, but that's, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting an attitude with you or anything. That's not how you approach someone. I wanted somebody else to come. I didn't know who to call. Okay. I just can you just step back? No, I'm not stepping back. Can you just step back? I'm, I'm, I'm about to give it to you. Please. This is a lawful order. Give me your license and insurance right now. This sounds like the Sandra Bland case. What race can you wonder up? Because you keep pushing it down and you're Put forcing your car me. In park. You're forcing me Put to give you something. I'm scared. I'm going to pull your car up. In park. I'm about to go. Okay, I'm about to go. Inside the car, Harris says she called 911. Meantime, she says three more officers pulled up around her car. Reached over to unbuckle my seatbelt. He reaches over before I could, unbuckles my seatbelt, and he starts pulling me, like dragging me out. So he pulls me out, then the next officer comes charging at me, tases me, and all four of them turns me around and throws me to the ground. So he was just like, this is no mother. Jackson, welcome to Flowood. Harris says after she handed it over, the officers told her to get out of the car. They threw all my papers. Then he got my purse, started snatching, throwing things out of my purse. Police would not confirm any details about what happened that night, but Harris says she bonded out a couple hours later. Is there any circumstances under which it's okay to not hand over your license? Not if you're operating a motor vehicle. Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey says if an officer stops you, you're legally required to hand over your license if they ask. There's very few and far between that you're going to have somebody, that, a law-abiding citizen that's not going to, you know, number one, that if you get stopped in the first place, and number two, that would, you know, refuse officers, uh, you know, lawful request. You know, when you sign your driver's license, you're signing a contract with the state, more or less. When we asked Flowood police about what happened, the chief told us he has not received a complaint about the incident, and they would look into it if they do. In Flowood, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. Police say they're reviewing dash cam video of the incident. We'll keep an eye on any developments with this story.